The Flip Classroom Podcast, How Do I Flip My Classroom, presented by Jeffrey Anderson and Larry Hess of Ohio University. Learning Outcomes. After watching this podcast, you should understand the three steps involved in flipping the classroom. First, to create video lectures. Then, to post those video lectures for students to view outside of class. And finally, to change how class time is used. The first step is to create a video. Lecture capture is any technology that allows instructors to record course activities and make them available digitally online. There are a number of options here, including Tegrity, Panopto, Camtasia, and many others. These lecture capture tools range from the simple to the complex. The case of using video to introduce students to concepts is well-founded. We see here information from the Pew Research Foundation that shows that the number of adults who have watched an online educational video has risen from about 15% in 2007 to 50% in 2013. In part, we have the Khan Academy to thank for this, founded by Solomon Khan to teach his nephews mathematic principles. Uh, it has now grown to a library of more than 2,400 online videos, which range from arithmetic to physics, from finance to history. The second step is to share the video with students. When students watch instructor videos outside of class, they have the freedom to engage with the video content in the way that suits them best. They can watch alone or with friends on any device they choose from their iPhone to their home computer. They can pause, rewind, and read around the topic. Students then come prepared to class with knowledge, questions, and observations that will underpin the learning in the next stage. There are a number of ways to deploy online videos, including posting them on learning management systems like Blackboard, Moodle, Angel, or Desire to Learn. The third step is to spend class time differently. In the flipped classroom, students lead discussions with students. Students can apply what they've learned from the lectures that they viewed outside of class, and they can work together to solve problems, create, and collaborate. If we look at Bloom's taxonomy, we see part of the difference in the flipped approach. In the traditional model, the remembering and understanding domains are reached when the instructor introduces new material in class. Students are then responsible for homework that addresses the levels of learning, higher learning, like applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. The flip model reverses this. New material is introduced outside of class time, and then students work collaboratively in class to apply, to analyze, to evaluate, and to create. Summary. In this podcast, we reviewed the three steps involved in flipping the classroom. First, to create video lectures. Second, to post those video lectures online for students to view. And third, to change how class time is used to address higher cognitive domains.